Hello, my scores and turtles. Shocker here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario. Last time, we did a few more things in uh, Shy Guy's Tory Box, and also did a bunch of stuff in the sewers that I wasn't expecting uh, on doing. But now we are back, and actually, I'm low on health. I'm gonna quickly take a nap. Yes, 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 yes. Take it out. It's not gonna be too long, so I'll just wait through the entire thing. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Now that we are officially healed up, let's go onwards. So, um, let's see what we have here. Multi bounce, jump charge, first attack. Which one shall I buy? Multi bounce. Uh, jump charge first attack. I guess I don't know what that. I don't know what this means. Like enemies that. Actually, hold on. Is this guy here? I'm pretty sure he's not, but let me just check real quick. Oh, okay, I'm pretty sure. No. Anyways, um, so let's go onwards down to Shy Guy's toy box. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Um, I haven't talked about this guy yet. I'll get to him at some point. I, I'm currently not doing that. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, so, back down. Come on. Why do you gotta tempt me like this? Why do you have to tempt me with items? Just, just give me the item. Oh, it's on the other side. Isn't it? Okay. Anyways, over on the pink station. We. That's that's not the right one. Okay, I guess we're. All right. I'll meet you on the. Red Station, which is what I was going to go for, but I accidentally... Stop! Please! I just want to go over. Okay. Uh, oh, it just says here. As you can see, we can head into Blue Station via the right arrow. If we go over there, we stop before the station and get told... I think our little track problem will be fixed if you pull that level uh, lever down there. Maybe not, I'm not sure. Hmm. To pull or not to pull? That is the question. And it can't be here because... Uh... Anyways. Pull this lever. And then that bridge is there. And then it completes it. Well, I'll be. Just as I suspected. We should have moved that lever a long time ago. We're leaving, all aboard. And we just end up going backwards. And this is... the end. Yes, yes, yes. So, now that we have created a full loop, we can go anywhere in this area. Right now, I want to go to Red Station because there is a thing there. Off we go. And we're here. Red Station, why, why, why must you tempt me with star pieces? Do you know what? No, I'm, 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 I'm sick of having. I, I, no, I'm not. No, I, I, I refuse. I refuse. We'll have Smash Charge instead, because I am angry that I'm not able to do stuff. Oh! Well, I 
guess I deserve that. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I, why did I click items? Um, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just skip this battle since we all know what's gonna happen here. And we're back. There's nothing over here. And we can do this little platforming thing. Up here. Wow, I don't bet that was a good jump. Coin block, I think. Oh no. Okay. I don't think I need coins anyways. One coin away from the uh not good number. Of course I end on a not good number. Oh, there we go. And... Okay. Great. I'll just... Um... I guess I haven't shown Shrink Stomp yet, so I might as well show that off right here. Um, so, Shrink Stomp will do this. If worked correctly, the enemy has been shrunk and its attack power will be half the usual. Uh, let's just do a bomb here because. Dang it. Um. Oh, if we... Nice. Uh... Can I please not be interrupted? Thank you. Um... If we used, um... Body Slam right there, or whatever it's called. Yeah, Body Slam. Um, it would have hurt Bombette since it's a physical move, and physical moves do fire damage. And of course, this guy summons a new guy. Haha! -ha. I am here! Die. Of course, he doesn't die, and we have to finish him off with Bombette. Uh, I'll. Uh, while Bombette finishes this off, I'll refresh and see you guys after this battle. Alright. Back out here. Get more coins. Oh, come on. Jump. Up here. Dun, 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 dun. And partner swap to Paracarry. I'm pretty sure there's. Yes! A new thing over here. Uh. The only partner left to upgrade would be Paracarry. But I don't know if I want to do that just yet, because maybe I'll want to save it just in case there's another party member or something, I don't know. Anyways, in here, <laughs> someone has come, someone is in the dark. Oh, <laughs> oh, could it be? <laughs> it's Mario. Looks like you're mine, Mario. <laughs> I wouldn't, I wouldn't let you go anywhere. Yes. So I apologize. Oh. <laughs> I'll take care of you quickly and then return to my darkness. I hate the light, so I'll take you with me to the deep dark. Yes, so I apologize for it not actually being dark, but hey, that's just how the cookie crumbles, I guess. <laughs> uh, we'll go Goombario because I have to tattle. Um, and we'll jump on this lantern since we have no other actual option. Ah, oh, that light, it's so bright, it's no good. Here, darker and darker. Even though it literally does not look 
any different, unless you use power bounce and like make it real bright. But yeah, it's supposed to be really dark and it doesn't quite look like it. Uh, I can't do that, but I'll, I, if I jump on the lantern, then I can tattle the big lantern ghost. This is a big lantern ghost. He avoids attacks by hiding in the dark. Max HP is 40, attack power is 5, defense 0. Your friends, like <clears throat> me, will also be damaged when he does a flash attack. The flash attack's power is 2. Hit the lantern many times to make it brighter, and then you'll be able to attack him. As soon as you can see, hit him right in the head. As you do. Yes! Kind of. Um, that was actually pretty good, except for the fact that I got hit. Uh, I was able to block with Goombario by just basically mashing. I, I don't exactly know how you usually uh, uh, block with a partner, but um, hey, I, I, I do my best. Uh, and that was actually the first time I've ever successfully blocked with a partner. Yeah, didn't think that would work. Okay. Uh, might as well switch to bow. Because bow is the best with the, uh, thing. And I can't do anything, so I might as well do nothing. Alright. Block his stomp attack. Then bow can do a smack on the lantern. Making it real bright. Now you can actually see the difference. Um, which we couldn't before. Now we do a power bounce. Actually did pretty good. I think I got a cap there instead of me being bad. Do a power jump. Six damage. Okay. <laughs> Still don't know how to block with both Mario and the partner. But as long as I block with the partner, it should be fine because if you don't block with the partner, then they can't move for at least two turns. Which is very bad. Um, I guess I'll just do a normal jump on the lantern ghost, and then Bo can smack him in the face. It's actually pretty good damage. I think Bo does more damage than me, actually, with my normal jump, but I do more damage with power bounce, so. RFPs. Uh, I guess. No, that's the wrong one. Oh well. Oh wait, that's the wrong attack. Uh, I just took three unnecessary damage. Or two, whatever. Uh, it's, I, I took unnecessary damage, is what I'm saying. Um. pretty good. And that's the wrong thing. Keep on forgetting to not select the lantern. And of course the lantern gets knocked down, but at least I can do a jump on it and then actually select the correct thing and we can finish the battle. Perfectly. And hooray, we did it. No. Hi, mister. I'm Watt. Can I, um, get out of here? Now, there's... Oh, wait, wait. Don't leave me. Please. Let me out, mister, okay? Oh, okay. Um, there's two separate lines of dialogue if you hit it with a hammer or 
uh, blow it up with a bomb, but, um, I guess I'll be nice and just smack him out. <laughs> Yay, I got out. Yay for me. Thanks, mister. Hmm? Hey, aren't you, um, Mario? Yep, that's me. You just saved me like a hero. You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest. You saved me from the mean guy who laughed at me like, wee hee hee. I gotta make it up to you. I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the, um, shy guys are trying to... Uh, that you're trying to save... Wait. I heard the, um, shy guys saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser. You're super great. You're the greatest great guy. I think you're the best. So I really want to help. I, I'll be good, really. And again, we have no option to decline. I mean, you wouldn't decline to a baby. I mean, that's basically what he looks like. Press down to have her illuminate the light around you. With her light, you can see invisible blocks, too. While in battle, she can shock enemies with her electro dash or paralyze them with power shock. Oh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kinda like the dark. But, um, now I can show you how I'm helpful. How helpful I can be, okay? Use my power, okay? Wow, pretty cool, huh? Look, it's so bright now. Hey, <laughs> but nobody else can help out like that, huh? Can they? Nope. Now, let's go. <laughs> yes, it doesn't really matter because, uh... Why is there... Anyways, it doesn't really matter with Project 64 since... I mean, you can still see when it's supposed to be darkness. But she does help out in a different way. We can indeed see invisible blocks with her around. And we can get absolutely useless items too! Hooray! Hooray! We can get useless items. Now that is a useful one. Deep focus. If you stack them with the other deep focus, then they do double deep focusing. I actually kind of want that on, now that I think about it. Um, instead of smash charge, we go for another deep focus. So that's, that, that's, that's real deep. Real deep focus. And a bolt shroom, which is also entirely useless. And of course, there's a little heart block because why not? Now this. I am going to quickly go sell my items before I do this. Yes, that is a thing. And yes, I'm going to be quickly going over and basically getting rid of any uh, <clears throat> possible distractions, I guess you could say. So I'll be I'll meet you at the store. Um, I'll do what I did before and do a jump to the store. And we bounce! I don't know how well that worked, but whatever. I, I think I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, you sell both of these real quick. Sell, sell, sell. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. Um, now, because we have no items, and that's how it's supposed to be, because this is a no-item playthrough. Haven't you read the title? I mean, if you are watching this in, you know, chronological order... You would probably know this by now, but if you haven't, this is like the pretty sure this is definitely not the first episode. <laughs> Unless you're just like sitting here for the bosses. Like seeing how I take out all these bosses with no items. I see you. I see you people who are trying to just see how I do it with I do on the bosses and no items. I'm fine with it, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, with no items, can't even open the menu, 
and everything healed. I'm gonna switch to Goombario. Oh wait, I... Hold on one second, I completely forgot something that I just remembered at this moment. I'm a dummy. Speed run time. Watch this. Oh, oh snap. Oh snap. Oh snap. Oh yeah. Nope. Out of here. Out of here. Out of here. Oh, come on. <laughs> Ow. Wait, can Wild Lock Electro Dash that? Eh, whatever. I I don't care. I'm just gonna run. Hup. Who cares if I lose some coins? <sighs> I lost a single coin, which was fine with me, and then I immediately ran into the same battle. And of course, that loses me more coins, but I immediately grabbed it back, and I still only lose one coin. That's... that's fine. Okay, anyways. Back up here. Super block. Upgrade what? Master... Uh, shall master... Turbo charge to increase Mario's attack power. This is going to be very useful, I think. Because it will grant us a temporary boost to our attack. Which means one attack, and if we get it right, we can get it for about three turns. A plus one attack for three turns. Uh, no, oh, right. Um, oh wait, no, it's here. After. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so dumb. Uh, oh, I have to... <sighs> I have to kill one HP, because... Can't not heal one HP. Anyways, yes, that could come in very handy. Very, very handy. Anyways, crack in the wall, I blow up with Bombette. And all the shy guys are just like, nope, uh -huh, I'm out of here. Uh, of course, there's a shooting star. I'll grab that on the way back. It's rain right view, so I'll realize that that's there. Oh, I'm kind of close to a level up, actually. No, I'm. Ah, I don't. I don't know if that's an item, and I don't want to. Do I want to fight that enemy? Oh. No, no. I'm just gonna skip past it. I don't want to delay it any longer. So, if you can see, these enemies are trying to hurt Mario. As you can see. They look like they're doing something, but they're not. The real way to defeat them, I guess, is to use Wand, because technically this room is supposed to be dark, and they just, uh, burst through the wall. Sure. Now we bring out Goombario. Oh boy, this... Actually, um, let me just make sure that everything's in order. Uh, active badges. I'm, I'm gonna quickly, <laughs> uh, let's see, power jump, shrink stomp, power bounce, quake hammer, uh, don't know if quake hammer can be, definitely not dizzy attack. I don't know why I still have that active. Just because it was like the first thing, I guess. Uh, Shrink Stomp and Quake Hammer. I don't think they're gonna be useful. So we have 4 BP to play with. What do we, what do we got? Defense plus. If we get rid of another thing. Uh, power Bounce is gonna be very useful. I don't think. I could, be, I could get rid of Deep Focus, but that might be. Might be a problem. Damage Dodge. I could get rid of. Ooh, actually, since I have four already, this would only take two more if, if I do that. Uh, hmm. 
This could give me a guarantee. Um, actually, how many, how many, 25, 20, so that would make it 20, 15. Hold on, I gotta, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly figure out what badges I should use. BRB. Alright, so this is the layout I decided to go for. I switched out uh, Defense Dodge with Defense Plus and put on Smash Charge because I only had one BP left and I could use that for it and get a guarantee of like not getting hit or not getting like but basically have a chance and instead of like having to block every attack I could at least have like a permanent defense point I guess so I'm gonna head into this see what happens oh boy So he came, didn't you? I'm General Guy. We're following the orders of us King of King Bowser by guarding a star spirit. As long as we keep it secure, we have permission to do whatever we want, you hear? I don't care for you, sir. You're rude. And furthermore, your chest passing in here. Our toy box is off limits to the likes of you. The treasure er, the treasures inside this box are for shy guys only. That star spirit fate the star spirit's fate is none of your business. Prepare to fight me, sir. Taste defeat Charge And so here we begin the fight with General Guy. Okay guys, hold together now. Let's rush him. Charge Except it doesn't start off with General Guy, it starts with the Shy Squad. This is the Shy Squad. It will attack us with all its members at once. Max HP is 15, attack power is 1, defense 0. Number of times we're attacked, the equal number... Wait, the number of times we're attacked will equal the number of Shy Guys in the squad. Its attack power is huge when there are many guys, but it'll drop for each one that falls. Let's use an attack that does tons of damage so we can decrease their numbers and increase our chances. Luckily, I have defense. Uh, a defense badge, which means that they don't do a single point of damage to me. So, I can just sit here. Yep. That's it. They can't do a thing because I have defense class. And with enough members defeated, it doesn't even have to be zero. They'll break out. We're gonna lose! Oh no, we've gotta run! Wait, stand your ground, man. Now there's... Now it's no time for cowards. Now will not abide deserters. And those three run away. You men make me sick. I must protect- uh, we must protect the toy box. Am I the only one with guts? Now another shy guy comes in. He gets hit. He cries. He runs away. You! Ma Mario, you sir will pay. You beat my infantry. But that's all you'll do. Prepare for the next wave. And now there's shy guys on stilts. Hilarious, but now we have to waste another turn. Uh, go attack, still guys, fight, fight, fight! Yes, sir, right away, sir. Now we have to spend another time tattling so we can get this guy's bio. Yes, th oh, wait, no. Uh, this is a stilt guy, yes, as the name suggests. Stilt guys are shy guys are on stilts. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me. Max HP is 7, attack power is 4, defense 0. If you attack them by shaking the ground, they'll fall off their stilts and become normal shy guys. So these guys actually prove the threat because they do four damage. Uh, yeah, it should be fine. Okay, yeah. Now they're normal shy guy. He's still a stilt guy. Um. I'll jump on the stilt guy, Gumbario will jump on the 
first guy. There we go. And as long as it doesn't do the thing. Oh, okay. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted to not. Uh, wanted uh, to avoid. Because taking more damage than I need to. Grr, unbelievable. I guess it's time for my special battalion. Oh, snap. Those are pretty cool parkour guys. And this guy just. Ju oh, jumping up. Ooh. And of course, the final one just. Comes out of, it goes out of its hair. Oh ho, ho ho ho, I pity you, sir. It's time you paid, Mario. Attack! Yes, sir. So these guys are shy stacks. There's a shy stack. Whoa, this pile's an incredible sense of balance. Look at that stack. Max HP is 10. Attack power is 1. Defense 0. Its attack power equals the number of shy guys in the stack. It'll be four if, the, if uh, there are four shy guys stacked up. If you have a spin hammer ability, you can knock them off one by one. Obviously, their attack's power decreases th their, when there are fewer of them in the stack. Unfortunately, we do not have spin hammer, so we're just gonna have to take these guys out normally, and I'll do a power... Okay. My power bounce to, uh get one of them I... it's it's fine it's fine I think I no no it's fine would have been the same outcome anyways uh yeah all right so now that all the shy stacks are defeated uh, Garger, fine, I'll beat you myself. Nobody embarrasses the brave shy guys of my armory. Nobody! And now, finally, for the final tattle, General Guy. This is General Guy in his tank. The tank seems to be dangerous even though it's a toy. Max HP is 30, attack power is 4, defense, is, uh, defense 2. Not only does the General give commands from the tank, but he also throws bombs and uses static oh uses electric attacks. The power of his electric attack is 5, and your party member will also take 2 points of damage to defend yourself carefully. we will lose the electric attack if we break the light bulb. Normal fighting styles seem ineffective because, of the, because the tank is well fortified. So, the only viable options are power stomp, or power jump, or charge. Or we could get out what? Wait for our turn. Alright. Now, if we do a turbo charge for 3 FP, we can do this. Four turns with one attack buff. And of course, I'll immediately spend two more. Uh, get two more attack for yes for my hammer I'm going to do supreme amount of damage with my hammer uh, we can't stack the charge but we can do a power shock yeah yeah it does not work that well on bosses Okay, now that we're in danger, I'm going to do a hammer. So, with all of these attack- Oh! <laughs> all of those attacks combined. Nine damage. Grrr! That hurt! Where did you learn to fight? You must be cheating. No, sir. Just using the game mechanics in an unintended- or actually intended way, because we have that line of dialogue. Grr. My high-tech defen <laughs> defenses don't seem to stand up to the electric attack. Quit doing that. It's, it's too powerful. You're breaking the rules of war. <laughs> there is no rules in war. Aha! <laughs> ah. Seven damage. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. And now... Oh, snap. My attack power returned to normal, but I have peril, which means... I didn't even do it, do it correctly, but whatever. It felt good. Peril strats. Except... Oh, wait, no. I got love luck, which means I'm fine. <laughs> okay. Woo! I feel great. Um, now, I could upgrade BP again, but I actually kind of want... Um, I actually kind of want FP here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go with FP. <laughs> uh, you tripped. <laughs> Yay, yippee, we beat the shy guys. Him, he, him, he, he, he. You weren't so tough, you, you silly old shy guys. I beat him up. Didn't I, Mario? We did it! Hooray! Anyways. Slowly float down. And with the silent music. We change over to Goombari. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, can I? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna collect this. I could go back for those items, but I, I'll, I'll go back for them later. End of chapter! To save the fourth star spirit, Muscular. Funny. Mario and his team disbanded the gang of tough shy uh, of shy guy toughs. Slowly, it seems as if the life force is returning to the once bleak night sky. But the stars won't truly shine until it, until the star rod is wrestled from the from Bowser's evil grasp. Three star spirits still wait to rescue. Where in the world are they being held? And with that, I think that is a good end for now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. We did. We took down Chapter 4. If not for a very, very close call, we did it. And... <clears throat> Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you l like the series or whatever. Uh, uh, but anyways, yes. We'll see. I'll, I'll see you in the next one. Where we will most probably see if Peach has more information for us. Because that's just how this sort of thing goes. But anyways, I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, all of you. Toodaloo-doo-doo. -doo. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>